Welcome back friends, I'm Justin and this is the Maynard Family Homestead. In today's video we're going to be going through and tuning up the sickle bar mower and that includes belt replacement and replacing all of the knives. So let's get started. The mower I have is the New Holland 451 with a 7 foot cutting bar which is plenty big enough for what we what we do. Um, it is maxed out on this tractor. This is the RK37 uh, cab tractor And as you can see it's it's pretty tight up in here. It rubs on the lift arms quite a bit but uh, It gets the job done So I got my sickle sections from web sickle service this time they're online and I'm super happy with them. They, they're very fast shipping um, and unlike going to a box store where I've went before and buying nine sections for $18, $19 uh, I bought this, this was about $65 I believe if I remember right and it comes with replacement nuts there's 58 of those it comes with the end knife which is not easy to find and with all of the blades that I need for the the rest of the sickle bar mower I chose to go with a large serration this time. I want to try it out and see how well it works. Uh, doing research online, a lot of people are saying the type of grass that I have with Bahia and Bermuda mix, uh, that the larger serrations cut better. So we're going to give that a try this time and see how that works. I'm excited. Now, Webbs is not a sponsor on my channel at all. Um, I bought these outright, and but I will say I'm very happy with them. So if you have a sickle bar mower, definitely check them out. They have kits for just about every sickle bar mower that you that you would have. We're gonna start by taking these little guys off here. These are the hold downs for uh, the the cutter bar. <clears throat> That'll allow us to be able to get into those hidden nuts in there. That'll make it easy to get get these guys. Once we get all of these nuts loose and the top brackets off, we'll come back and knock these rock guards off, which is basically just uh, knocking those down, those bolts out, or not, oh yeah, the bolts out, and uh, then the rock guard will slide right off. We're removing all of these rock guards, but if you're looking to replace just a rock guard, it's super easy. You just they're in they're in uh, pairs, so you just find the the bolt nut holding that together. You'll push that out, knock that one out. Rock guard slides right off. And then if it's if you've got a broken one, of course you just put a new one back on in its place. Once we get all those rock guards, the bar is loose, except for right down there at the, the end where it connects to the to the belt pulley and all that good stuff. So we'll start taking these guys off. as easy as that. 
Now, so I'm going to check these, so this one here is toast. If they're not in bad shape, I'm going to hang on to them just in case I break one out in the field. I've got a replacement, but uh, most I think most of these are going to be toast. This is what it looks like once you get all the blades off. It's just this little bar here and uh, the main bar, support bar. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting blades back on with the new nuts all the way down. We'll start with the end blade down here. side up okay but we don't want to cross thread them right here make sure they sit flat and flush put the nuts on hand hand thread the nuts on first though just to make sure they're not cross threaded okay and you should be able to hand tighten them up and then just snug them with the ratchet, ratchet but some of them may need to be but there you go Why don't you spread it that end? And you can we'll use this if you want. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were going to use it. Take one, two, three. Really tight? Or just. Yeah, snug them up real good. Okay. Don't over crank it though. It's good. Alright, you can have these for now. Why? For some reason this last section of bar down here is bent, so I'm going to heat it 
and see if I can hammer it back a little bit where it's uh, in line with the rest of the blades. It's a little windy out today though. perfect but it's better than it was It's time to get our rock guards on. Change out sockets. That's what we're going to do. Let's see, first one, second one. We got all the blades changed out, got all the rock guards back on, turned it a few times manually just to make sure it seems like everything's going to be okay. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to the belt real quick. Uh, I might move the tractor again because we have found ourselves in the sun again. <laughs> Our shade has moved. So I'm going to pull the tractor up and we're going to change that belt out real quick. Right back here where the drive shaft comes into the gearbox is this little guy right here. It's got these two nuts. I've already started to loosen them, but you loosen those up and that takes the tension off of the belt. This little guy kind of swivels and when you pull it this way to tighten it, when you loosen it, it'll uh, go back that way to make the belt loose. So I'm gonna loosen it up just a little more and we'll slip that belt off.
Well, that actually was a breeze. Uh, the old belt I knew was pretty sloppy. I haven't been able to successfully find the belt that I need though. And I even went to Napa and, and could not find it very many places online that even carried a belt like that and most of them were out. So Katie ended up finding this one and it was one of those gambles. We just were like, well, hopefully this is the right one. So she got it, shipped it and that thing works perfect. I mean, it fits perfectly. You can tell the other one stretched out an inch or two just from use over the over the years. So there's only thing one thing left to do, and, and that's uh, fire up the tractor and turn this bad boy on and see what happens. works perfectly we are ready to cut hay weather permitting in about a week and a half we're going to cut our last cut for the season um, we are finally getting a little bit of rain we actually about a week ago we got right at six inches in about four hours time on sunday evening it was incredible I've not seen that much rainfall since the last tropical storm we had roll through but it helped out tremendously everything's turning back green now We've had a few small rains since, and uh, we're thankful. So, our hay, I don't think we're going to get very much again this time, but uh, we'll be thankful for what we get. So, we're going to go ahead and cut. The grass is fixed to be it usually about the 15th of September. Growth halts pretty much in half, and uh, but we're going to try to let it grow a week or two, and in the meantime, get the hot fence put up, and that way we can get the cows put out there on the uh, on the hay so what you doing girl yeah oh <laughs> yeah love these cows so yes that's the plan so got the mower good to go hopefully if you were looking to uh, learn how to change out blades or belt or rock guard or something like that uh, I will, hopefully this video is helpful if I can do it anybody can do it I am NOT a mechanically inclined person and this is time-consuming but it is a very easy project um, I could send my one of my sons out here and I would have total confidence that they could do this all on their own if they wanted to so anyway that's going to do it for this time thank you so much for watching we'll see you on the next one